Hey, what's up, Street Talk? It's Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, I wanted to, to do this video in terms of just some practical tips or ideas how to be more creative. So, I think regardless of who you are, where you live, you always want to be more creative with your photography. And trust me, I totally fall victim to this too, where I'm always blaming external situations that hamper my creativity rather than blaming myself that I'm not creative. So, I'll just give you guys some practical thoughts in terms of how to be more creative. So one of the best ideas to be more creative in your photography is to cross-pollinate, meaning taking different types of ideas, theories, philosophies, and kind of meshing them together. So for example, even though photography is one of my passions, I like to combine ideas from photography mixed with philosophy, psychology, um, from painting, from hip-hop music, to freestyle rapping, to weightlifting, and all these kind of crazy ideas. And one of the big inspirations of my photography that I get is from Zen minimalist photography. So often in photography, we're told to add more things to the photo, you know, getting bigger cameras and more gear, whatever. One of the things I learned from like Zen philosophy is rather than adding to what we have, trying to minus and subtract from what we have. And so, for example, the current camera that I'm using the most is the Ricoh GR version 2, Ricoh GR version 2. And it's one camera, one lens, and it's small, it's compact. You can change the lens, which actually feel help you be more creative in your photography, and the kind of accepting limitations, um, not having all these options. And which brings me to number two, to be more creative in your photography, impose limits in yourself, meaning don't have unlimited options for your photography. And there's different ways you could give yourself a creative constraint. For example, only sticking with one camera, only sticking with one lens, only shooting black and white or color. You can also restrict your location where, you're, uh, where you shoot. So you could only shoot this one downtown area where you live or this one block or you could only photograph maybe a two mile radius of where you live and whatnot. And by having these constraints, it really forces you to st step outside your comfort zone and kind of find beauty in things that you might not necessarily expect. Another way you could be more creative in your photography is to make sure to always publish and put your work out there because I think a lot of us kind of have a fear of being creative because we're feared of um, negative judgment and people kind of looking down on us saying what we're doing isn't so good. And so practice putting yourself outside your comfort zone by you know, publishing, try publishing once a day, publish a photo, a video, a blog post, uh, any sort of ideas that you may have and don't really fear what kind of negative consequences you might have. And probably the last tip I have is don't forget to have fun because I think creativity is all about being a child, kind of going out and playing and not worrying so much about these small details of whether it's good or not. And you don't pay a kid like 10 bucks to, you know, sit in front of a, a desk and draw some paintings. And so uh, the same thing, treat your photography the same way. Just go out, have fun. And the more fun you have, the more creative you are. So anyways, uh, that's my quick video in terms of how to be more creative. I'll share some more ideas with you guys as they come. All right, peace out.